Hi, my name is Mimi. I'm an artist. I make work about things that are hard to count and collect. I want to talk about a project I've been working on for a couple years. It's called Ground Truths. It starts with my hometown. I grew up in a town called Sugarland. It's located right outside of Houston. And in 2018, my former county school district was trying to break ground on a new school. While they were digging, they unearthed the remains of 95 people. Those remains turned out to be from Black folks who had died through the 19th century practice of convict leasing. And the discovery of them, for anybody who knew, it caused just unease through our city. It was like, who knew that Sugarland held this past and what should be done about it? Well, it turns out some people had known and had talked about it for a long time, but they hadn't been listened to. And for this project, I'm interrogating all of the structures and practices that maintain that unknowing of my hometown's history. I'm curious about why the remains of the Sugarland 95 were able to cut through that veil of unknowability when other things were not. And I want to tell a story that positions the Sugarland 95 as what they are, which is a national pattern, not an isolated case specific to Texas. To do this, I'm building a machine learning model that can determine whether other, which other counties in the U.S. contain similar mass graves from convict leasing, like the one in my hometown. That model is meant to be a form of evidence that can open the door to collective reckoning, and it will be mathematically and statistically sound. But it's also an impossible model. It will be impossible to dig for these remains, just like how it's impossible for any technical solution to attend fully to grief, to pain, and accountability. Those impossibilities are the things that do count. And my aim is for this project to lead back towards them and back to the people who held these histories and stories all along.